We've had a sustainability team here at Quest Field for about three years now. Our fans here in the Northwest expect us to be leaders in sustainability issues. As part of that, we continue to try and find ways to reduce our effect on the environment. So this is a building management system that allows us to control temperatures and run times of the equipment throughout the building. It's smart enough to know that if the outside air temperature is cool enough and we need to cool inside the space to use outside air instead of actually heating the space. Nearly all of our chemicals are green seal certified. We also use uh, post-consumer paper throughout the facility. And something we started about two years ago was we actually encourage fans to leave the garbage in their seats. And we come along with our housekeeping teams and pick and recycle plastic products, compost all the food waste, and then throw out any trash. In 2009, we received Recycler of the Year in Washington State. We increased our diversion rate from 27% to 35%. Beginning of this year, we started having discussions with the other local professional teams in the area. And so something that the Mariners could be doing across the street can translate very well for our Seahawks fans or our Sounders fans here at Quest Field. This is a $84.5 million facility, and really the only additional cost that we estimated in going green is a little over $200,000. This is the only large event center in the, in the South Sound area, so this is sort of our showpiece, and we were very proud of building it, and we're very proud of the way that we built it. So this building uses 508,000 kilowatt hours less per year than a similar facility that did not meet the same lead or green standards. 508,000 kilowatt hours is approximately 50 homes. So as you look at the upfront costs, our payback on this building is just over a year. The purpose of this room is to provide chilled water and skating surface. Part of the uniqueness of the skid behind me is the reclaimed heat from the compressors. And we utilize it to create under slab heat warming. That keeps the permafrost from developing. It causes that same slab to heave up and potentially crack. We also use that same reclaimed heat to melt ice chips that come out of the example. The way this facility turned out is just tremendous. We really made it a, a first-class facility for the fans to be able to sit and enjoy the game. And we have different messaging that we'll do on the video board throughout the game as well, demonstrating the toilets with the two ways to flush on them and some of those kind of things. The green aspects are things that you really don't see, and yet it is first and foremost what we really pitch when we're selling the building. When we have a corporate advertising package, we lead off that it's the first building in North America to be lead certified gold, and it, it really opens doors and creates a conversation point to start some of the messaging that a company may want to do for us.